Hey everyone, you got Joe Irfan and Zayas here from The Automator, and today, hey, we're saying happy birthday to all the hockey. Guess how old it is? Anyone know? Anyone know? <laughs> okay, 20 years old today. I was so excited, and I have a little reminder on it to, to just see where it is, and yeah, 20 yeah. years ago, Chris Mallett, you know, worked on, made his first public option to to grab auto hockey, and g- kudos to him, right, for saying, I really believe that hotkeys should be a thing, and I'm going to fork auto it right and, and yeah uh, and make it easier <laughs> yeah and then that, wow man. it's really you know it's kind of come full circle too because auto it of course has incorporated a lot of the stuff that they said they didn't want um but auto hotkey has grown like mad as far as using calm objects and the functionality fully functioning scripting language right it's amazing um so in that by the way we're offering uh, uh for the next 20 days it's there's 40 percent off discount code for i'll put the code up here for any of our courses so um i'm really excited we, we want more people to learn auto hockey right it's a life-changing thing that can save you a ton of time reduce errors um just make you let you work on what works smarter not harder right so it's, it's a right. great thing now i think it was at the beginning of this week yes you uh, sent me a message AI. yeah yeah open ai had their open ai dev day and they made some big announcements, uh, many of which, you know, we I'm sure everyone here is to some degree following them. They they mentioned you can have a lot more data, which is great for us. We can we can push in a lot more stuff in, into the buffer zone to, to for our conversation, which is really awesome. It's even larger than Claude, which was huge. It's like 300 pages worth of text is, I think, what they said it's equivalent to. So. That'll be really helpful for us in training it. Um, we were hoping, and that's what I was going to show here, but the ChatGPT4 also, sorry, another update was it's the ChatGPT4 Turbo, which is the latest thing that they offered. It is um, current up through, I think they said April of 2023. So yeah. that got me really excited because I'm like, well, crap, maybe it knows Auto Hockey V2 now. V2, right, yeah. So, <laughs> we came into here, and by the way, this is, so I'm paying right now for the full access, so that's why I can see the version 4. Um, if you're not mm-hmm. in, if, not, if you don't pay the $20 a month, you don't have access to this at the moment. Um, but mm-hmm. even in this one, it's this one didn't do it. It, it You know, it was getting closer. It definitely has improved. It, it is. It yeah. is It is getting a little bit closer to it. Like, for example, the last message box down there, it is V2 code 100%. Yeah, good point. Um, right. there's a few things in it that are not exactly V2, but then right. uh, you had an idea. You said, let's go. Well, yeah, let's here. go to the playground. Um, right. and because here, here we have, yeah. In, in which is another one of the announcements, by the way, was the assistants. So you can create your own assistants and stuff. They call them chat GPT. Or, I'm sorry. They call them GPTs or assistants. And they have a store, which you can create your stuff and push it into the store which is good. And and they profit share with you if you create one that gets used a lot. Right. So very interesting, but um, yeah, this preview, this is my understanding is that's the, well, let's let's make sure here. I didn't look at this. I would assume. Yeah. That's the, you know, that's the turbo, even though they don't call it turbo, which is funny because they call these turbo and notice here, this is the 16 K this, this new one. It's, it was like a hundred K 130. I forget this. It was big, but, um, so you change with that. We tried adjusting the temperature and things. And after some back and forth, um, it got much closer. And what Isaiah noticed was it was offering like the beta version of V2, right? Right. So you said- exactly. So basically, when I started off, it was giving me kind of V1 code, even though I told it, okay, go ahead and do V1, uh, V2 script. It was still giving me V1, so I nudged her a little bit, and I was trying to push it. So at this point, let me stop right there. At this point, it got really clever. So what happened was I told her, give me a hotkey that displays a message box, okay? So it gave me this part, which is V1 code. So this at the top is V1 code. And I told her about it. I said, hey, that is V1 code. Give me V2. It gave me a one-line hotkey, which basically works in both. But the the key point here is that the message box is using the parentheses. So that's V2 code. That's correct. I said, like, yeah, clever, but don't give me one-liners because that's an easy one, right? So I I just say, hey, add more message boxes. You know what she did? 
she gave me a one-liner hotkey and then created a function that does that. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know what? You got too smart there. What I wanted was a multi-line hotkey because that one really differs in V1 and V2, right? So um, I just told her, you know what? Um, I tried to give her more um, commands. It still gave me a function that did the stuff and a one-line hotkey. And I said, no, no, what? Give me a multi-line hotkey that does the above. Okay, so at this point, I didn't actually told her that it was V2 because I have, I kept telling her that, right? So it came up with the next answer. And this is where I knew, okay, so it is aware of V2. It says, you can define multi-line hotkeys by using the open curly braces and the closing curly brace. So that specific content, I know that even though in V1 you can do something similar, that it started with V2. So it it is aware of V2. It gave me the correct answer at this point. It opened the brackets. It put the um, commands in there. It still missed by a little bit because it put a return right here. That is wrong. It would throw an error in V2. Um, and it still kept using this persistent directive that is not used in v2 like that it is actually a command not a directive anymore so that's where i when, when i told uh, joe hold on um it is getting closer is what i'm what i would determine and and i said okay so give me a multi-line hotkey that creates a small GUI. and this is the point where as you mentioned joe i noticed this right here was very awfully similar to auto hotkey v2 in the alpha stages. In the alpha stages, um, it had this class called GUI create and stuff like that. But after that, it created everything correctly. All of these lines right down here are good, except for the use of the same GUI uh, variable. In v2, you cannot do that. You cannot replace um, built-in variables. And I nudged her a little bit more and I tried to say, hey, use 2.0.1 syntax, which is not alpha anymore. And it gave me something closer. It didn't use the GUI create anymore, but still that is not 100% it, but everything else is like that is, that can be used. That is V2 code straight yeah. up. And this is V2 bind. code. Now this function bind down here, here's the thing. You have to do that in the alpha stages. In the V2 syntax right now, you don't have to, but this will not throw an error. You can still do something similar. Um, I, I think, um, let me just confirm if I'm wrong, but you can use the function, well, the func function to create a function. <laughs> but I, I'd argue right, it's it all is. interesting and stuff. It's kind of irrelevant at this point. It, the point is, it still doesn't know v2 but it's, it definitely has improved than what it did before right so um i have high what I would, yep what I, how i would re rephrase that is it is aware of it but the fact that there is so much v1 code out there still is making her leaning toward v1 codes first yeah but, that's yeah. an assumption but we, we don't know right like but right sure yeah. maybe that's what's going on right quite, very possible uh, but the, I think the main point is also that we can, you know, we saw in some other videos I said to these guys earlier um, of uploading your own files and having a train on it. And that's where I think, you know, since now there's a larger li uh, buffer that you can upload to, um, we could be pushing in our own code and it quite possibly could be writing stuff better. But um, right. yeah, so we're still not there, but we're getting there. Anyway, I just want to say happy birthday, Auto Hotkey. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, yeah, make sure you subscribe. We, we release them twice a week, maybe, maybe more often. Have a good day. Bye, guys.